So this is the York stitch. It looks a bit like straw. And this is the Oslo stitch. You can see there's little diamonds in there. That's the biggest difference. To make the York stitch, I'm going to start with a loop. Kind of like that. Where you want the end to hang down on your thumb. So, then you take the needle and go under everything. Pull downward. So you're catching two on your thumb. Like that. Uh, you can either take the old one off and go this way and underneath. Or you can leave them both on your thumb, which is the easier way to do it. And you go under everything. And you take the third one off. You go under everything. This is what makes this a fast stitch. However, it is a very loose stitch. And do one more. When you take it off, it's going to be really twisty. You can stretch it a little. And it'll look like that. So, it's very twisty. When you untwist it, you'll see the chains. But to get it back on your thumb, the yarn pointing up, and there you are. So this is your first loop. That is your second loop. There you are. Now to connect it, to untwist the whole thing and go through the tops. I'll go through two on the end, and then you go under everything. Pull through in a downward motion. And one more. F2 I will do, which is one new and one old connection. And under everything. One more. Two under everything. So there you have it connected. This I'm using a very thick yarn to make it show a little bit better, but also because you can see the pattern a bit more. But most people, because this is such a loose stitch, will tighten to the needle. If I use a thinner thread, it'll look like this, which is very loose. But if I use a thinner thread, I can tighten it to the needle and it'll look like that. So I point this in the right direction. To tighten the needle, you're going to have to have your old one behind your thumb instead of on your thumb. And you do your F2 if you want. Then you go backwards through that loop and down. Take it off. Pull it a little tight. And then put it back on again and pull through. This is called needle tensioning. But that is the only way I can think of to make the York stitch bearable and not too loose, which is like this one. This is needle tensioned. These also stitches are thumb tensioned. Oops, I forgot to tighten it. And the work is going to curl like mad, see? To get this to lay flat, I had to steam block it because it wants to do that. There you go, good luck.